So hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Arfan from Webcifer. And today we are going to have an awesome image hover effect. So let me show you what I mean. So here you can see that I have some text here and also have this image here. And however, I will hover the image and look at the image. This image is having some cool transition and also the effect between the switching image as you can see. It's looking really good and also you can actually change the effect here now you can see that in this case we are actually having different kind of transition or hover effect you can see that so you can actually change it as you want so that's it what we are going to learn in this video hope you will like it so no more talk let's dive into it So first of all let's get the layout and after that we will go to the effect so let's get a boilerplate in our html and here inside the body i will have a section and here i will have a d with a class of container container and inside that i will have two div so div with a class of info and inside that i will have h3 something like lorem 4 and also let's have some per up so let's say that lorem 10 something like that and after this info div i will have another kind of div which is actually my image so that's the image div that i have here and for now let's have an image here inside that so let's say that image and for the source i will use the first image that i have here so let's actually open it in our live server here so you can see that the image is too much big and we need to research that so let's actually have some style here and before that let's link the style sheet and here in our css first of all let's remove all the unexpected gaps something like padding zero and margin zero and box sizing will be the border box great and after that let's come to the body or uh, in the html we just can apply the fonts so font family will be the Montserrat i already installed this font so i don't need to import it so let's say that font size will be 10 pixel something like that and here in our section we will say that the height or the mean height actually will be the 100 vh and the width will be 100 percent and also let's say that display will be flex and align items will be center and justify content will be the center and this will basically make all of our content center and inside the, our container so container I will just say that the width will be something like 90% or I just can say that min width or sorry not min width max width will be something like 1000 pixel or 1200 pixel something like that and margin will be the zero and auto and for the content I will actually use it as a flex so flex will be something like sorry display flex and align item center And also justify content center so if I come here now now you can see that everything is now in flex I believe so you can see all the things here and also let's say that for our images I will actually decide that with actually width of 100% so I just can say that height will be 100% and also width will be 100% and here in our info I'll just say that the width will be 50% and also for our image container I'll just say that width will be 50% of our full container now you can see that we have nice uh, flex layout here and what I need to actually I need to just have some style for our this info so I just can say that font size 
will be something like Ethereum. Yeah, that's enough, I think. And also the color will be. white smoke so we can't see that so let's actually change the background color so we just need a blackish background color and let me copy the color and here in our section let's apply the background color so it will be something like that so you can see that we have this color and now what i want to do actually so instead of that let's actually use black and let's see how hot it will be so let's say that background color black yeah looking fine it's looking good actually so now what i want to do actually i want to have some overlapping so with the images and the text and before that let's actually have a border here so that we can see our image container so border so let's say the two pixel solid royal blue yeah uh, not 20 pixel so that's too much so we have this so that we can see so now to have the overlapping you just need to just say that the info i'll just say the margin right will be minus 150 pixel so it will make the overlapping so as you can see that we are already having so if i increase that so we are having that overlapping but we can't see it because the image is actually in the top means the text is behind the images so that we can we can't see that so to make it actually visible we just can say that z index will be two or higher than the z index of normal so now we can see that whenever we are increasing the z index and now let's actually apply the effect that we are talking about so to apply the effect first of all what i need to do actually i need to go to this hover effect github repo so i will link it in the description you will get the link from the description just come here so this is a uh, the repo where you can see that the hover effect and here you will find a nice example what we are going to add in our website so if you come here in this repo show some love to this repo and you can start it here if you like this so from here what i need actually you can see that in our basic usage i need two more things i need three js and also the twin max so let's actually grab the three js and for that let's go to the cdn js so cdn js and i just can say that three js and here is my 3js and just grab the url and here we just need to add the 3js file or the cdn what i am saying so i just can create a script source and paste the source here so we are adding the 3js so one more thing that we need actually is the twin max so for now we don't need to actually add twin max instead of twin max we just can simply add our gsap so grab the gsap and come here in our code here and create another and paste the source here so now we have our 3js and also we have gsap so after that we also need the hover effect js so the effects are the plugin itself so here come here in the distribution folder and just grab the umd file so hover effect dot umd dot js so you can just click the file and you can make it raw from the raw just you can save it or what you can do you can just copy the whole thing and come to your file or the working directory here so just create a new file and name it hover effect dot js or whatever you want and inside that just paste the code that you copied from the github and now what you need to do actually you need to add this so for that just create another script source here and add the file that you created a moment ago which is the hover effect js and finally we need to add our own app.js which is this one which is now empty so let's actually have this app.js file so finally we just need to write some code here so here what i need to do actually i need to create the new hover effect so new hover effect and here inside that 
so this is the new instance of the hover effect and here i just need to specify the parent so the parent so let me actually show you what i need to do so if i come here in our github repo so in the hover effect if i come here so there are some mandatory options or the parameters which is the parents image one image two and the displacement image so these four options you need to apply mandatorily so first of all let's actually apply the parent or specify the parent so i just can say that parent will be so document dot query selector and we need to specify the parent so you can see that for the image i have the parent which is the image so also we don't need the image anymore we will do it with the javascript we just did it for only layout purpose so that we can create the layout so we don't need the image just remove the image tag and what you can see the here you can see that we have a empty div with a class of image and that will be our parent so just say that here the div with a class of image it will be the our parent and after that i need to say that the image one will be so we are adding this feature where we can see that there will be a hover effect for the image that means we need to have two image which will be the first one will be the initial image and whenever we will hover the image will change and we will see the next image so for that we need to specify what will be our image one and what will be our image two so for that here we just need to give the location so uh, let's say that the image the initial image will be the image one so i just can say that uh, one dot jpg so that's the image name as you can see that here so that's our first image and let's also have the image two so this will be the second one let's say that and let's actually see what else we need so last thing that we need actually i need this displacement image so let's add this so displacement image so for that i need to add another image so the image that we are going to add is from this repo so if you come to this repo here in the example you will have some image here so inside the image you will see that uh displacement folder and inside that folder you will find some images so these all displacement image that you can use actually or you can use your custom displacement image so this is some good collection of displacement image that you can use so just click the four one so let's actually see so this is one of the displacement image what you can do actually if you want to have it in your local you just can download that and from here just save images and let's actually go to the my working directory and you can see that this is the 4.png and actually let's create another folder here which name will be something like this placement image so inside this folder i will just have my displacement image that i am downloading from here so now you can see that i have this folder where i have my displacement image so now what i need to do actually i need to say it in my displacement image location so it is inside the folder which name is the displacement dash image and inside that i have an image which is the 4.png 4.png and save it and save all my html also so we should see our effect right now in our page so let's go to the google chrome and you can see that we have our image but it is not what we are expecting we need to give it some height and also the width so to have some height and width you can come to your image parent here as you can see that we need to give it some width also so it will be something like 50 percent already we have the width here we need to give it some height actually so height let's say that 500 pixel so now you can see that i have this and the image is not actually we can't see the image so for that i think i need some refreshment so let's refresh it and we can see our image and whenever we'll hover now you can see that we have our effect here which is looking perfect i think and now i don't need my royal blow border here so just remove that so you can see that now i have this hover effect 
which is looking perfectly so inside our app.js if i come here so you can see that only this kind of code i need to have or to achieve the effect first of all we need to have or specify the parent and after that we need to specify the two images that i am going to apply the hover effect and after that i need to have my displacement images which i showed where you can find and also you can see that there are some basic problem so the problem you can see that here is that the image it is not perfectly i can say perfectly sized image it is something like a squashed you can see that a little bit so to fix that what i need to do actually you need to make sure that the image you are using i am using image number one and image number two so what you need to do actually you need to make sure that the image that you are using having the same aspect ratio so for now you don't have the same aspect ratio you can see here and there so you need to make it the same aspect ratio so for that what you can do actually you can make it same aspect ratio very easily you just need to go to the image here and from here you can use any kind of tool to do that i have these windows photos here so you can see that this aspect ratio so i just need to make sure that it have the same aspect ratio for all images so let's use four and three so that's a good aspect ratio i think for these images so i will use four three 4 by 3 and save and copy and I will actually save it in the same folder that I have and I just can re replace the previous image so now I have a new image which aspect ratio is 4 by 3 and also do it for our this photo number 2 and here you can see that whenever I will go to the 4 by 3 now you can see that this is now resized and now we just can save it and here if I save we just can replace that so the previous image now we have these two image which actually having now the same aspect ratio which is 4 by 3 and now if i save and come to my website now you can see that the problem is not even fixed so we need to fix that so if i come to the repo here i also have one more option here which is the images ratio which is actually by default one so what I need to do actually, I need to specify the images ratio here. So for now, by default, it is having one. But as I showed you, we are using actually four by three images ratio will be four by three or actually, let me actually come here. It is not four by three. If you can see that the usage here it is actually image height by the image width the 4 by 3 is actually the 4 is the image width and the 3 is the image height so we need to make sure that the height is the first one so we just can say the 3 by 4 and if i save now if i come here in our image and now you can see that it is not working because i think the problem is we are not using a float number so we need to make sure that we are using a float number so let's actually make it a float here so to make it float let's come here and search for a calculator and here so i just need to divide 3 by 4 which will give us the answer which is the 0.75 and if i have the 0.75 which is our images ratio and save it and now it should fix the problem and if i come here now you can see that the image is not actually having the squashed thing anymore and if i come to the our this you can see that the camera it is also fixed perfectly because we are using the aspect ratio here so you need to make sure that the images that you are going to use is having the same aspect ratio so you can use any kind of aspect ratio but you need to make sure that the one you are using is for the both is the same and also you need to make sure that the aspect ratio you are using is having also here and for whenever you are using the aspect ratio here we need to make sure that it is actually the height divided by the width not the width divided by height okay so you need to make sure that here so that's it actually so let's actually create some more so we have now this one and let's actually have 
another section here so let's actually duplicate that and this will be our second one and for here i will just say that image one and this will be our image two so we are changing the class so we need to change it also in our javascript so here i am targeting the image one and also let's get duplicate it and for this time we will actually target the image two and we will use the third one and also the fourth one so the image that we are going to use and the displacement image will be the same if i save that and let's go to our file here and now you can see that we have this one and if i hover now you can see we are having the same effect and also if you want to change the displacement image so let's actually apply a different displacement image here so go to our this example and inside that you will have the image and inside that you will have all the displacement image so let's use actually 10 so let's see what it will give us so you can see that we have this displacement image and let's download it and save images and we need to save it inside of our this displacement image folder that we created so let's actually apply this here so here now you can see that we have this 10 dot jpeg so 10 dot jpeg so now you can see that now we have a new kind of displacement image and the effect is actually you can see that is a new one so you can try different displacement image here you will find some more displacement image and also you can create some your custom displacement image also so that's it what it will take it will take a little bit of code to have this awesome you can see that awesome looking hover effect image hover effect you can see here and also you can actually play with these all other options something like intensity here so you can see that the default value is the one and if i come here and in my code so that's the intensity so let's actually apply that in term city so the default value is the one and let's actually make it 0.5 and let's see what it will have the uh, what it will affect so now you can see that whenever i am hovering the intensity or you can see that the smoothness is actually having a lot more so you can see that now we are having this in our first one and you can see that the difference between that and that so it's actually you can see that it's having the more smooth animation or the transition you can say and also you can see that you can specify the intensity for the first image and also for the second image and also we have another option for our angle so you just can come here and after the intensity let's say that angle so angle and you can see that uh, for the angle and the default value is actually math.py divided by 4 which is actually 45 degrees and if you want to change that so let's say that uh, math dot pi so which means 180 degree and if you want to have something like 90 degree you can divide it by 2 180 divided by 2 90 degree and we should see our this effect in the 90 degree and whenever i'll hover now you can see that the effect is now changing its direction and you can have the rotation as you want so let's actually have something like 8 divided by 8 now you can see that now we are having the direction is something like this way so you can change the direction with this angle and also you can specify the angle for a specific image 1 and also image 2 and also same thing is speed in which is also will specify how much speed will be whenever the transition in and also the speed for the transition out and also you can see that if you want if you don't want to have the transition whenever you are having the hover means whenever you can see that now default whenever i am hovering the transition is happening but if you don't want that what you can do actually you can make it false so that it will not happen whenever you will hover it so it will be helpful if you want to have this transition in a custom time or custom function so you can also do that and also you can see that the easing which is actually our default green sock uh, easing functionality and also you can see that i already covered the images ratio what it is and also we have two more method which is the next and the previous so transition to the 
second image and transition to the first image so those are the method that you can also use so that's it basically for our this nice little jazz plugin you can say hover effect by robin della so that's it i think oh, there is nothing left to cover so that's it for this video i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i will upload here next video you will get the notification and that's it and i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahafes